Alright, once again, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Basham, Yahushai, Basham, Raka, Kronash, the Balanus to the Apostles, and the elders of Great Millstone. So, all the Akiams will wire shall one be unto you. This is the water from the GMSure.com. Just bring out a quick edification to his spirit of the Mosai, Yahweh, Shem, Yahushai. And my topic for today is prophecy is being fulfilled, the end is near. Yeah, because um, currently, well, we know that before the end of the time is near, before the final destruction happens, that prophecy must be fulfilled in order for that end to come. In order for us to come out of this wicked ass kingdom and for Yahweh Shai to come and redeem his people who is Israel. So we see in prophecies currently being fulfilled and there's a lot more prophecy to come. One of the prophecies that we have been that we have seen being fulfilled is the chip, the implantation of this chip, the RFID chip. Now we hear in a lot of rumors and actually physical um well, well actually physical that the chip itself is being implemented in a lot of persons. A lot of workers, a lot of a lot of chipping going on worldwide currently. A lot of people actually not aware of that. Um, so I started with Second Ezra chapter nine and verse one. He answered me uh, then and said, "Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou see it part of the signs pass, which I have told thee before, then shall thou understand." that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the will which he made. Therefore, when they, when they shall be seen, earthquakes and uproars of the people in the will, then shall thou well understand that the Mosai speak of the things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. Yeah, so once you see more or less what I'm trying to say, it's, once you see certain things coming to pass, know that the end of the will is near. Because one of the things the most I have, Hashem, Hashem, don't do is be void on his talk. If the most I have, Hashem, Hashem, say he's going to destroy this earth and he's going to come, send his son to come back again to redeem Israel, he will stick to his earth. He will stick to what he's saying pertaining to the youth. So one of the things that he did say is that he's going to bring down Esau kingdom, which is the so-called white man, which currently have Israel in captivity. And we all know that every nation that had Israel in captivity, they were no longer with us um, for one Egypt. Now that second Ezra um, 9 and 1, um, could actually be one more clarification if you go to Revelation chapter 13 and 15 to 17. Um, it says <clears throat> Revelation chapter 13, 15 to 17. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that they may, that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. And he caused all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bound, to receive a mark in his right hand and in his forehead, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had a mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Yeah, so... That number goes back to 666, and we all know that chip and that, 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 that barcode goes back to 666. So, when you say measure the time diligently and look for these signs, which he said must come to pass before the end of the will, that chip is one of these. That chip, that impl impl implanting of that chip into your right hand or your forehead is currently going on worldwide. We actually had 
a man um, in the Philippines actually said that they were chipping a lot of people in, in certain rural areas in the Philippines and that he had to fled and they were telling them that they had to get that chip in order to buy yourself. You hear in uh, where certain parts of India are actually chipping on their staff. Even as currently locally, um, when passed that section 34 bill, that was part of the shipping system to be implemented. So we know for sure that these prophecies are being fulfilled and must be fulfilled before the end come. We go to Isaiah chapter 42 and verse 9 and 8. Verse 8 and 9, so like here. I am the Lord of Shai. That is my name and my glory I will not will I not give to another neither my praise to grave an image behold the former things are come to pass the new things do I declare before they spring forth I tell you of them yeah and that was the prophecies the prophecies state that the earth is given to the hand of the wicked who is the wicked he saw and he is going to bring upon, you know, he's going to bring upon a destruction or attempt to bring upon a destruction and is going to have martial law. And one of the martial, one of the, one of the things of the martial law, the apostles break down and said is that they're going to implement that, implement that chipping system. That chipping system goes back to the mark of the beast, that, that chip where you cannot buy or sell without that chip. Um, we go to Jeremiah chapter 1, 9 to 10. So we see a lot of prophecies being fulfilled and a lot more is going to come. When the Lord Yahweh Hashem and Shai put forth his hand and touched my mouth, and the Lord Yahweh Hashem and Shai said unto me, Behold, I have put my words in thy mouth. See, I have this day set thee over the nations, and over the kingdoms to root out and to pull down and to destroy and to chew down, to build and to plant. Yeah. So that's what we're doing right now. We are prophesying against the downfall of this so-called either my kingdom, which is the so-called white man. We are prophesying and we are pulling down and we are we're, we're, we're more or less enlightening you Israelites out there that it chipped is coming and the chip is here it's not going to stop and not all these are prophecies have to be fulfilled i mean first Esau is like a cunning well he was always a cunning hunter well like a cunning man you know he's gradually easing this chip thing into the system easing it and easing it in because when i would have think back as a a youth a child you would have seen when he would have put like for instance, homosexual. I don't know if anyone um remember movies like Die Hard One, and certain other movies from back then. You will see where he would have had black men dressing and certain way, and you know you will try and question like why you know we'd take it as a joke, in I think it's Russia and these other things you know, you easily gradually, you know ease his way into into society with certain things and then it become a norm. It become normal, it become part of living. And that's the same thing he planned to do with his chip. Um Jeremiah chapter twenty eight and verse eight. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. Yeah, just like the prophets back then, they prophesy of this time to come. Men of great millstone were also prophesying of that time to come also. And we're actually showing you that this is the time. And we're showing you how these prophecies are being fulfilled also with the implementation. For one, the implementation of that chip system. Yeah, that, that's one of the ways that those prophecies are being fulfilled. Um, Daniel chapter 12 and verse 1. <clears throat> and so we're living in a perilous time where we actually 
a, a person witnessing this prophecy is being fulfilled. I mean, when you see this time, you say, Yahweh Shem, you shine to water. Okay, you know the end is near. A lot of brothers getting a lot of dreams about destruction, about deaths, you know, about dying. You know, these, these times, these are the times that, you know, that, that Jacob trouble is at hand. Time of Jacob trouble. Daniel chapter 12 and verse 1. And at that time shall Michael stand up. The great prince will stand it for the children of thy people, which is the children of Israel. And there shall be a time of trouble, yeah, a time of Jacob's trouble, such as never was since there were nation, even to that same time. And at that time thy people shall be delivered, everyone shall be, everyone that shall be found written in the book. Yeah, so that time of Jacob trouble are coming and the only time we're gonna be redeemed is when your Hamashai come back to redeem us. That time of Jacob trouble and if you want to be written in that book, well one way you're not gonna be written in that book is by taking that chip. If you deny the devil and you 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 keep the name and the Mosiah Hamashem and shine him out, you shall be redeemed, you shall be written in the book. Mosiah Hamashem and Shai shall call you a son. If you take that chip, then you'll be destroyed. That goes back um, to easy kill. So um, when you go back to Job chapter 18 and verse 5, it, it talks about this this earth is given into the hand of the wicked. That goes back to the kingdom of Esau. Job 18 and verse 5. Yea, the light of the wicked shall be put out, and the spark of his fire shall not shine. Yeah, now light of uh, Esau is going to be put out. If you're a great stone, go and put out your light. And uh, uh, and and Show the will, all the weakness and abomination that you're doing upon the face of the earth. And the most of you have Hashem and Shai coming back to destroy you also. Um, Job 9 and 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? Yeah. That's the so called white man. Now, you know in church they teach you about the devil is a man with a, a red man with a pitchfork and a fox tongue. This man is a real living man. This is not the devil is talking about in, in Job. It's the spiritual seat and the physical seat. And, but you have to be wise out here. You have to be wise and you have to understand the times they're living in. You can't just say uh, that you hear in this prophecy long time and it's in being fulfilled. Yeah, because well, how to say that this thing gonna be fulfilled? Just like the days of Noah when everybody were drinking and marrying, marrying, and everybody saying that this there are plenty of time to come still. Yeah. And then destruction coming. This is time to be circumspect. Um probably get out in Ephesians chapter five verse fifteen. See then that he walks circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time, because the days are evil. Wherefore, be ye not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord in our Shem is. Yeah, be, 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 don't be unwise. Because if you see in these things being fulfilled in these times, and these are part of the prophecies, then it's just a matter of time before all the rest of prophecy come to pass and then you'll be caught with your pants down. But one way of, of ensuring that you're written a book of life is for the Lord has the commandments and the most high going out there in the highways and byways prophesying against his kingdom prophesying that the most high have a shame and is coming back for his people and try to wake up the whole for the elect. And try to be the hopefully that also. So with that I wanna say shout out one. 
Um, hold this notification. I'll hold this my topic really fine to you. Um, this year could be that year. Could be that year of destruction. This prophecy is being fulfilled. Uh, give all praise to Yahweh, Hashem, Yushai, Hashem, Kodash. Shalom to the Akiyam Zolir.